Um, yeah, so um, I'll be taking it one after the other for the Ruby team. I'll start with the Ruby team. So you're working on um, one minute. Let me just check. I think you're working on the on the student journey or instructor journey. Oh yeah. Yeah, I believe you're working on the instructor journey. Oh, okay, you're working on the student journey. So um, like the project sponsor said, okay, so to everyone that joined, I'm going to be your product owner for both the Ruby and the Emerald group. So tonight is really about eliciting requirement. Last night we, we learned about requirements, elicitation and documentation. And today we have to put it in practice. And yes, yeah, so for the Ruby team, you're going to be working on um, the prep major student journey and a new um, website to be created for you. Like it's a blank page and you have to build that website. So that link will be shared later in the week, but um, you have to, Put together the user story. So what I want for the prep major students is that I want you to create the on-page banner. Uh, I want you to create the login sign-up page. I want you to create the site navigation panel. And um, yeah, so I want a I want a full on-page banner that has the header and the footer and um, the, the login and sign up page. That's what I want for Sprint One. Any question? Any question? Please, um, Bolu. Yes. I, I'd like, uh, just for, for the purpose of um, understanding the, the project mandate again, can you take the project mandate uh, you know, and break it down the way Deji did, uh, because the, what I got, because sometimes it speaks very fast, it was develop, to develop a learning management system. I, I needed to understand the, the other part from the student journey and all that. Uh, okay, so please, like I said yesterday, as a business analyst, I know that this is a lot, but as a business analyst, please, right note because you need to confirm back from the either the project sponsor or the um PO. So just take notes. Um I'm happy to do that again. So the project mandate, what we want, like what the project sponsor wants is a learning management system. So prep major is a learning management system like Udemy and what do you guys registered on? and have your videos on. So we want a website whereby students can actually come and take courses on that website. Instructors can put their courses on the website for students to take. Students can register, students can also pay. Excuse me, students can also pay on that website and then they can I mean, student can pay, they can do installment, instrumental payment. Um, so we want Stripe, we want PayPal, um, we want credit card as payment options on the website. So this is the project mandate. And yeah, this is what we want to be developed. However, now I'm breaking it down into features, the mandate. So for Sprint 1, because as BAs, you work ahead of the Sprint, so you are in Spring Zero now. You have to start putting, populating your backlog with stories. So what I want for the for Spring One is the header, the footer, the features, the home page banner, the um, login, sign up, ability to take, um, ability. I mean, have the site navigation panel with different features, like users are able to view. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be clickable, but users are able to view. However, I want the header and the footer 
to be functional, as well as the home page banner to be functional for Sprint Run. That is for, this is for Ruby. This is the mandate for Ruby. If that makes sense. Any question? Please ask me a question, please. Please, my question is, what are we creating? Is it the uh, acceptance criteria or user story? Yeah, creating both, both of them. They are going to be populating your backlog with user story and acceptance criteria based on this, based on this feature that I've told you about tonight. Okay. I don't know if it will be okay to ask if um, th there is already a logo. Yes, yes, I do have a logo and I will send that to you. Thank you very much for that question. Please, based on the login, uh, based on the login features, are mm -hmm. there things you want us to, want us to add? Like, is it first name? Is it a full name? What do you actually want for the oh, project? Thank you. For yes, so for the login, I want users to have a username and they are able to put their password, but definitely that means that they must have signed up on the website. So I want them to also have their, for the, so for the login, I want them to have a username and password. Then for the password, do you have any specific need like special characters or any this thing? Yeah, users can use, um, yeah, they can, I, I mean, at least one number. At least one number should be added. Then other one. Alphabets, it will be letters. Is it what you yeah, know? it can be. It can be like I don't mind. I don't mind how the letters are structured, but at least okay. one number. All yeah. Right. Thank you. You yeah, didn't sorry. ask me about the sign up. <laughs> sorry. Right. In terms of in terms of the sign up, what details are you expecting to be captured? Okay. Yeah, so I want username, I want email, I want password, and they should be able to confirm their password. Then I also want them to agree to the terms and condition of the website before they can register on the website. Sorry, I just wanted to ask, does forget password come in at any point? Yes, that is for the login. Um, if they try to log in and they are not able to log in, there should be a forgot password um, feature on that login. Yeah, please. I, I want to add. Yeah. Yeah, please. I want to ask because, you know, I mean, I'm still kind of new with this. So I read. Everybody here is new to be honest. Yeah, because the way everybody says log in, open the website, I don't really understand what to do. So that's why I'm asking. So how do we go through this process? If I can understand it, the layman's language, please. How do you go through what process? Like, like you, the, 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 the project, you're going to open the site, put in the login, the website. So, so we are, uh, yeah. Okay, uh, you, were in, you were in class yesterday, right? Yes, when we are talking about the list. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. So, so, so what everybody is doing now is eliciting requirement based on the mandate. So you are not the one developing the website. What you have to do is write these stories and user story and acceptance criteria so that the developers can develop the website. Um, so what you are doing now, what people are asking are specific of the features that I'm talking about. So I said, I want the login feature. So, People are asking, what are the specific that I want for the login feature? Do you understand? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. So that's the question that is coming up. So they are, they are eliciting requirements. So in those space, when you are eliciting requirements, you have to ask questions. So I, I just said I want a login and a sign up feature. If you don't ask me specific and then you develop something for me, and then I say, no, that's not what I want because you never asked me, do you, do you understand? So yeah. it's very important that when you are in a meeting with stakeholders, like your maybe the product owner or the product sponsor, because it might not be everything that we have a product owner. Like I mentioned yesterday, you might directly be working with the project sponsor straight up. You have to act specific and say, okay. And if you remember, I said that cover, scenarios that can arise what could go wrong scenarios as well if if you think about it you can always ask that question and say okay what if this does not happen what what should we do in this place you get so that's a requirement. requirement. so you have to ask specific i can just say develop login for me and go away and then you are stuck you don't know what you're supposed to do or how I want it, or you just develop what you think. And that's why you, you shouldn't make assumption as a business analyst. I hope that makes sense. Okay, yeah, thank you. Yeah, you're sorry, welcome. one more thing. Um, don't you think the sign up page should involve um your date of birth? Because it does like the year you're born doesn't even matter and people that are signing no, up for the course. No, I, I'm I mean I'm not interested in having their date of birth. I just really want a very simple sign up page. I um earlier you said they should be able to make payments on the on the site. Yeah, yeah um, I've not got to I... that. Oh, yet. okay. Yeah, because okay. I'm still talking about the feature for Sprint One. Except oh, okay. you want to do everything in Sprint One, and I'm happy. <laughs> it gives me like I'm happy to do everything in Sprint One. So, I mean, why not deliver my project on time? <laughs> All right, <We'll> wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do so, you have the yeah, go on. One, I think okay. it is in the print now one that we are just creating the home page banner and the banner has I can hardly hear you. You sound far. Okay. I said from sprint one, what we are handling now is the banner. Yeah, I said many things aside the banner. Okay, yes, I know, but mm -hmm. I'm still working, we are still working on the, or I'm still looking at the banner, at, at the banner now where we need to have the, the header and the footer. Please, what would you like to be in the footer? Oh, okay, so the features I would like on the footer will be um, terms and condition, privacy policy, contact us, about us. Um, yeah, I think that that should be good for for the people. Do you, do you, do you have a... Please can I talk now? Oh, uh, whoever wants to talk, yeah, let me. Okay, um, will it be okay if um, at the future we put some other menus like contact or so that it can be easy for them to navigate at the footer also to other uh, menu of the of the website. Yeah, I already said I want about those contact us, terms and condition, okay. privacy policy. Yeah. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Please, on the login page, did you, mm -hmm. uh, are we having an email? And uh, I think I mentioned again. that, yeah, I did mention that on the login, I just, like they could either use their username um, because when they are signing up, they already created username. So that works for me, fine. Like they can put in their email address and the username when they want to log in, it's okay, but yeah. If, so, well, if Yeah, continue please. Yeah, so they can either put their email address but yeah, for the login, I just want username and password. But if they put their email address, I want the website to accept it. Oh. So what do, you mean, what do you mean by username? Is it like their first name or both? Uh, first so name and last name? when you are, have you ever signed up on a website where they ask you for your username? 
Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Your so you can, name. That, it's, yeah, and, it's it's up to you. Uh, yeah, I'm not I'm not strict on whatever they use on their username, except for things that are vulgar, like maybe four Q one two three. It's not acceptable, uh, or mm -hmm. slots, whatever is not acceptable. But any but any username that is that is good that is within the confines of cleanness, yeah. But any one that is vulgar cannot be accepted on the website. Okay. Do you have any text style, font style? Is it necessary? Mm, no, I'm not. I just want to keep it simple. All right. Okay. Do you have any preference for your front size, the color? Um, not really. I just want to keep it simple. Um, however, I have a logo that I can send. So you can work with using the logo to develop the aesthetics of the website. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Sorry, good evening. Good evening. Yeah. Well, I hope all these people asking this question are for Ruby, right? A B is on Ruby. Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> because Emerald is different. All right, no worries. Yeah, please shoot. Okay. Yeah, you mentioned that you did not want their date of birth when they are signing on. But I mm -hmm. think by anything that relates to making of payments, because when you are trying to give us the the details about it that they can use it to make payments so that people that are on that age cannot you will know the people that are making payment. I think date of birth is somehow necessary or how do you? Yeah, I'm not sure I want their date of birth. I don't want it to be long. I want it to be an easy sign on process for anyone. But when I get to, when we get to the payment, then I could have some restriction. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Um, so I on you, the uh, header, Flix, what do you want? You on the header, want yeah, I want the logo to be on the far left. I want a search bar. I want um, OM, OM and courses um, on, the, on the top left, right corner and excuse me um yeah i want a wish list like a wish list button so the wish list button is going to be like a love shape so when a user clicks on that he, they are able to add a cost to their wish list and i also want um yeah, I think that's it for for Ruby. That's what I want on your for the home page. So Ruby and Emerald, you guys will be having working on the same URL and there'll be dependencies on on, on each other. So um that means that Emerald, I mean Ruby has to start work on time so that Emirate can can do their thing. Mm, this is going to be very interesting. I like it already. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. Yeah, really. yeah. Yeah, sorry. Um, I don't, have... don't say sorry. You're, you're good. You're doing the right thing. It's fine. Uh, okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Actually, it's because I had to just cut you off. No worries. Yeah, I'm from, um, I'm, I'm in Emirate. Mm -hmm. yeah, but um, from from the questions they are asking, you know, you are a tech person, so mm -hmm. you actually know what you want. In a situation where the project owner is, you know, all these big men, oh, I want a website. I want okay, the website people should be able to go in and pay. You understand, pay in installments, and then I just want them just do this. Uh, they should be able to buy courses. You understand? You understand? But and, that's what they did to you guys now. Yeah. Yeah. So how do you now that we're asking you how do you want the footer?
how do you want the navigation bar to be and everything in a situation where the project owner does not he just wanted the website the functional one that can perform so in that case what do you think the ba should do do your research your research will help you in getting exactly what you want from that person even though the person has given you the minimal the minimal um what are they calling it the minimal requirements so you can take that that's a way do your research do a prototype i mean ensure that you you book a meeting with that person in that meeting then do your prototype come i mean arrange it for another meeting and then say okay the last time we had a meeting you said this 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 and i've put together this prototype what do you think i'm telling you you will get you will get information from that person mm -hmm. Do you get information from the person that you you are speaking to? Because it will look at the sketch and be like, oh, I don't like where this is located. Can you move it to this place? Can you do this? Can you move the footer? Can you put add this to the footer? And like that, like that. So yeah, those are ways to go about it. There's always a way, trust me, always. All right, thanks. Yeah. You're welcome. Okay, please. Still on the header, are, mm -hmm. uh, are there specific features you want to see in the search bar? In the search bar? Yeah. I just yeah, want yeah. the search bar. I don't need anything inside. Oh, all right. Okay. Yeah, I just want it to be that people can be able to search once they click inside the search bar. Okay. Then, yeah. I think the header, is there anything like... Uh, like uh, Login or sign up is there anything like yeah, that? yeah, yeah, it has to be on the other. I've mentioned that already. Yeah. All right, how many people would you like to be able to search um, to be able to use the website at a time? Uh, that's a very non functional requirement. Um, uh, for now, uh, I don't know to be honest. <laughs> For now, I don't know, but I just want to, I think the QAs will be able to help me with that number um, once it's been developed and see what the rush is like, and then we can upgrade as we go along. Okay, the side <laughs> navigation, please, what side would you prefer and must, still, uh, must it be on the site? What if we cannot achieve a site based on the design? Um, uh, yeah, I would really like it to be on the site, on the left-hand side, so that um, users can easily, easily um, have access to it. So the features I want on the site navigation panel are, a dashboard, a profile, um, a, a profile of, for the students, enrolled courses, messages, membership, favorite course, enrolled quizzes, and my order, and then a logout button on the side navigation panel. And I wanted to have a hamburger so users can expand and collapse it. Okay, does that make sense? Any other question from Emirati? Ruby, Ruby, I guess. Sorry, from Ruby, apologies. Please, the futures to create a home, home banner, is there any? Uh, I just want a nice picture that is, is um, I want a nice picture that shows that this is an LMS website. So yeah, you might need to research for a picture that doesn't have a copyright um, for the home page banner. Oh, yeah, doing the sign up, uh, 
during the sign up process, do you want users to be able to confirm their, uh, to verify their email address? Verify their email address. Um, I only want them to verify their password. So I just need them to confirm their password. So they have their username, their email for the sign up. So for the sign up, I want the username, the email, the password and confirm password. That's what I want. And then a checkbox for them to agree to our terms and condition, which is by signing up, you agree to our terms of use and privacy policy. Excuse me. Any other question? Please, what do you mean by uh, the header and the footer should be functional? When I say functional, I want you to be clickable. Every feature there should be clickable. So um, that means that you have to, for anything that is clicked on, it needs to be able to redirect users to that page and users should be able to see what is on that page. So how do you want them to navigate to that? I don't understand. How do I want them to? Yeah, like- There's not they... me to determine that. All right. Yeah, so I mean, once they click, so when they click on any of the feature, you should direct them to another page, to the page where that feature is located. There are questions of that. What okay, message? Jo uh, just to confirm what you said about the navigation panel, you said it is not necessary for it to be clip clickable, right? The side navigation panel, the kitchen there. Yeah, for now, no. But I okay. want the header, all to the be features clickable. on the header and all the features on the footer to be okay. clickable. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Any question on what I just said about redirecting users to another page? Please, if you can explain that more, I don't understand. Explain, I mean, what, what do you mean? Like which page, like redirecting the users, which where would they click on to redirect them to another page? From yes, where so I've where? mentioned all the features that I want to be on the header and the footer, right? When a user clicks on any of those features, they should be redirected to the page for that feature. So for example, if a user clicks on about us, they should be redirected to the page for about us. If they click on contact us, they should be redirected to the page for contact us. If they click on login, they should be redirected to the page for login. If they click on sign up, they should be redirected to the page for sign up. If they click on, what else is on? If they click on courses, they should be redirected to the page for courses. So those are, that's what I want. But courses is not your concern. That's, that's for, Emirate. I've answered your question, Salome. Yes, but how do we make it? Clicking? Yeah, that, that's, that's for you to figure out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm a product owner right now. So don't worry. <laughs> Right now, I'm a product owner, so I just have to respond to you as a product owner. Okay, any other question? Any other question? Yeah, yes, uh, Miss Bolu, yes. No, Bolu, Bolu, first name basis, everybody. Yeah. So Bolu. my name is Kola. Okay. My name is Kola Aguda from Timenia. I missed yesterday's lecture. 
So uh, all this thing just a little bit, a little bit hard for me. But I want to ask the question: Is the are we creating the web uh, the website to create a user story and bug only? Now creating the user story and acceptance criteria, and I've sent the link for yesterday's um meeting. Okay. So the BA lead. So if you are not on the BA lead, please join the BA lead because the YouTube YouTube link for that video is there. Yeah, okay, thank you. Yeah, okay. you're welcome. I will, I will send it there. All right, no worries at all. Yeah. Please, my question is at the process of okay, in case we have any question, can we still come back to you? Yeah, definitely, definitely. So that's the whole point. If you have any questions, like you don't have any question right now, you can always invite me for a meeting and say, oh, we would like to clarify this, this, and this. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fine. Thank you. Um, sorry, is it possible for us to get your availability so we won't just call for a meeting and you won't be available? Ah, thank you very much, Israel. Ah, you care so much about me. Yeah, I appreciate I you. <laughs> I really, I, I really, really appreciate you. That question is very hard for me too. But um, mm. for this first week, um, I'm not sure how my availability will be because I'm I'm resolving plenty impediments, which is very normal for the first week. But yeah. Um, anytime from, I mean, I close from work from 5.30. So anytime from 7 p.m. If you don't have any lecture, but I think your, your daily stand-up start by, by 7. So anytime from 7 p.m. And if it's so, if it's very, very urgent, then I can have a quick meeting with you for 6, 6 p.m. before your before your meeting, if that makes sense. Yeah, all right, thank you. You're welcome, except Saturdays and Sundays. I'm not available Saturday and Sundays at all. Yeah, for any of the weekdays from seven, I think I should be able to uh, meet with you. All right, any other question from Ruby before we move to Emerald? Okay, I don't know if um, this is um, important or you have addressed it. Um, the graphic designs in terms of color, should they be restricted to the color of the, of the, the logo yeah. or something? Is there any special features with terms with respect to the Yeah, design? as long as, as long as whatever is on the home page banner is not conflicting with the logo, I'm fine. Okay. Yeah. All right. Any other question? You guys are really getting on board, and it's it's really good to see they're catching up very fast. Any other question? I think this should be my last question. When you mean, when you, what do you mean by logo? Is it just the company logo or yeah, both I, icons? I, I, no, the company logo. I I said someone asked earlier if there is a logo for the company, and I said yes. I will send it to you. Okay, then, okay, my question should be, uh, the, this in both sign up, login, sh uh, should that be anything like icons, like that will redirect them or that will make it easier for the users to know what they are actually typing in? Um, when you say icons, I don't really understand because like, login and sign up is supposed to be on the header of the home like, page. Like a little image showing that okay, this is oh uh, okay yeah yeah you can get creative but ensure that you write the login as well because people can miss the icon or might not understand what the icon is but yeah you can put an icon and then the developer will do that anyways so right, but yeah. if you really want to be that ba that wants to be extremely detailed and nobody is going to do any but yeah the design okay so your wireframe will do the job okay. you get so when yeah. you design your wireframe 
it has all those this thing what you just asked me has the icon for the logo and the sign up mm -hmm. and all of that so you can get that creative but on your user story you are just explaining what should be there oh, so when we get to my frame lecture you will see how it works and what you're supposed to do okay thank you you are welcome you're very welcome all right and don't Sorry, be shy, don't Sorry. be shy to ask any questions. Um, oh, oh, one minute, please. Okay. Don't be shy to ask any question. No question is stupid. Just be attentive because, as a BA, one of the one of the um, one of the criteria of being a good BA is paying attention to details. Like you have, you are a good listener. You listen, so. You don't keep asking the question that has been addressed over and over again, but you can do it here, but don't do it at work. Yeah, I'm happy to answer because you guys are just starting out. Yeah, so, but that's it. Don't be afraid to ask any question. I'm happy to answer. Larry, over to you. Ms. Bolo, I just wanted to be... Bolo, 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 Larry, Bolo. Ah, Lord have mercy. <laughs> Bolu, don't, worry. don't be afraid. Bolu, yeah, it's, it's a work it, placement. If you are work, you're going to address everyone on personal basis. Sir. It's all right. Um, I, I'm just trying to catch up with all this. It's still, it, I'm enjoying it though. Still strange a bit. <laughs> I want to be sure. What we are doing at the moment, and we've not gone past it, is just eliciting for requirements. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. No problem. No worries at all. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, excuse me. So I have a question. Um, it does not have to do with um the websites or anything. Okay. I don't know if I can ask that now. You can ask as long as Emirad is not angry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, what do we do when we are done with Spring One and there's a change in requirements? How do we address that? Mm, that's a very 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 interesting question so it's frustrating i'm not going to lie but it depends on the organization so if you guys are practicing strictly agile um so you have to check with the so when the product now comes and is like okay i want this change to happen on this website the first thing you want to check is what is the priority of this chain that is coming on board? How is it going to affect? So now this is where your scrum master comes in. How is it going to affect the capacity of the team? Can the team take this extra work on board? What's, what are we removing from the sprint and adding this one? If it's a priority, what can wait? And as a BA, you need to explain to the product owner and say that oh we might not if you want us to take this on board yes the consequence might not be able to deliver others because we've we've put them into sprints and um this is it yeah of course you cannot say complete no except it has no value to the project then um you can say okay but you want to ask questions why is this change coming on board at this time um, how important is it? What is the priority? Do you understand what I mean? So you don't just take on the change, but yeah, try to clarify with the product owner or whoever you are speaking to. But if you are practicing Wajal, there'll be a change request form that you go through the stackle. The stackle, we have to approve it before they then put it in the backlog. However, for Agile, if, if you ask all those questions and you clarify and you guys have the capacity, put it in the backlog, it goes through refinements before it is developed. Does that make sense? Yes, thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay. All right. Any question from Ruby? Any other question? Okay. Hi, 
Yeah. I do have a question. I was thinking about it. I don't even know if it makes sense. So I was just listening to what every other person was saying in terms of, you know, asking you information about what you told us you wanted. (laughs) And um, it just crossed my mind, like, this is like a learning management system. So I want to believe it's for everybody, both able students and people with um, head conditions, you know, something in those lines. Mm -hmm. So I was wondering, like, for the head of Futa and the London page, for people who are, say, visually impaired, Mm-hmm. Would that be like? Would that be a special feature you would like to to add to it so that they can easily and smoothly assess, as say, as what every other able student would be able to assess? Mm, that's a very interesting question. To be honest, I'll have to check with the product sponsor and get back to you. All right. Um, and it might be a future requirement, but it's not a priority right now. But it, right. I'm sure it will be a f- future requirement. Thank you for bringing that up. That's All interesting. Right, Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Any other question from Ruby? Ah, Ruby, you guys are fire. Okay. <laughs> this is interesting. <laughs> I'm having so much fun with this. All right. Um, Ruby, is any other question from Ruby before we go to Emerald? Any other question? Okay, science means no. Emerald, are you ready? Emerald, are you guys ready? Yes, we are. Wow, wow. Why is that voice so low? Don't worry, it's going to be okay. <laughs> okay, so for Emerald, um, because there'll be dependencies with you guys, um, the edda is already done, but some of the features that I want on the ed uh, allow me. Allow so me, I just me. wanted to remind the DAs that is nine o'clock. So it's a minute to nine. Just click on the breakout rooms and go to oh, the breakout rooms. Ah, okay. Okay. But we are in Emerald as well. That wants okay. Oh I mean DA, DA. Yes, I'm in a DA. At the same time, I'm in Emerald. <laughs> Don't worry. No, fine. so let me explain what you just said to yourself. Everybody in Emerald has, uh, uh, everybody in Emerald are uh, representative of each role. So the reason you were put in DA is because you're a DA. So your specifications, your courses and everything will be on DA. So he just wanted you guys to join this section so that you can just gain something pending when your lecture starts by nine. Automatically, everybody will finish most likely by 10, except they just want to extend. But for you guys, you're doing nine to 11. So it's not about everybody in Emerald or Ruby are either SM and Emerald or BA and Emerald or Jiget, Roll and Emerald. You are in the two of them. So you need to join your room now. Okay, okay, okay. Well understood. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Um, all right. Thanks, allow me. Thank you so much for that. The answer is still up. I hope it's not paining you. Allow me. <laughs> all right. Okay. Um, Sorry. Hello. Yes. No um emerald um so for you um the features that i want on the edda is the common instructor feature because um ruby already created excuse me ruby already created the um other features on the edda so i want I want the become an instructor feature. And when a user clicks on that um, feature, become an instructor, a form, I want a form to appear whereby if they are not signed in, if they are not logged into their account, then it should redirect them to the login page. However, if they are logged into their account, I, I wanted to, like and they are maybe they logged in with the because everyone that logs in 
has only the the student access for everyone that logs in for the first time. So, however, if they are logged into their account, I want them to see a form once they click on become an instructor that says, um, one minute please, that, that is asking for their area of expertise and, uh, one minute, I apologize. So is asking for their area of expertise and um, their, their degree. So is asking for their degree and their expertise. So, and once they send the application, to be received in the back end by the by the admin, we then approve that um uh their request. So a user sends that request, and then I also want a site navigation panel. And on sorry, the sorry, Bolu. It yes. looks like I didn't follow you. I don't know for others. I'm not following you. <laughs> yeah, it looks like I didn't follow you because at a point there was a break. Please. My voice was breaking. Not your voice. Yeah, you are breaking. Your what you were saying did not really flow. Uh if you could repeat it, please. Thank you. Okay. I think about that. Okay, one minute. Um, yeah, so I said that on the other, I want you to add a feature because you guys uh, have been, you and Ruby will be working together and Ruby and will be creating the feature, the header, the footer, the home page banner. However, I want you to add a feature to the header that is called become an instructor when a user clicks on that feature become an instructor on the header and they are not logged in to their page i wanted to redirect them to the login page however if they are logged in on their page i want it to display a form that that has that needs them to enter their degree and their area of expertise. So if their expertise is software testing and they want to become an instructor as a software tester, they need to enter software testing in their expertise. If it's BA, business analyst, they enter business analyst and like that, like that, you get G. So, and then they send the application. Once they send the application, the admin has to approve before they can become an instructor. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Okay. Yes. Yes, it does. All right. So now I also want you to create a site navigation panel that has, I mean, the the student already created that, like the um, Ruby team already created that. However, yeah, the features we need to add to the site navigation panel, announcement, great book, add course, students, add students, payout. Does that make sense? Please come again with um, those site navigation panel, please. Dashboard, announcements, grade book, add course, add students, and payouts. Also on the on the header, I want you to put a featured core courses and tax tax.
I want you to add a feature called courses and tabs. Tabs. Okay, also I want all of these features on the side navigation panel to be functional. So when sorry, user... sorry I'm lost though. Why are you, you lost? You, you, a bit you said from, the... from dashboard. I did not say from dashboard. I mentioned features that I wanted on the side navigation panel. I don't, I don't get it. Yeah, I mean, you're not the only BA on, in, in your team, so you can find out from the rest of them. All right. All right. Okay, so I want all the features on the side navigation panel to be functional. So when a user clicks on any of the feature on the side navigation panel, it should redirect them to the page. So each of those pages Any question? Yes. Okay. I did not get the features of the side navigation, please. Yeah, I'm not the only BA on the team. Ask me that got the features. I asked Eve, does that make sense? Everybody said yes. It makes sense what you said, but it's I did not write all of them. That's what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, is that, that, is that, is that, that, is that the panel to have announcement, grade book, add courses and students and payouts. And exactly. either should have courses and tasks. And, and again, you said, I want all of this to be functional. And when you start click on the side, the application should be directed to be paid, right? Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Okay. All right. It's normal for you not to get everything, but if this is recorded. You can always go back to it and watch it and listen to it again and see what I said. It's okay, so that we don't we don't um, keep each other for too long. You guys, we have a lot of questions that I need to attend to, except you don't have questions. Yeah. So the floor is open. Questions. The floor is open for questions. No question. Okay. Also, I want. I want users to be able to edit their profile, both for students and for instructors. So Ruby and Emerald, I want I want users to be able to edit their profile. Any any question? There's plenty of question. I'm expecting okay. for me. Bolu. Yes, boss. Okay. Yes. My my question again. I don't know whether I'm being too forward with it, so I'll omit it. In while taking all these requirements, is there a particular format for for taking it in or writing it down? Writing it down as well. And while all these questions uh, that we are asking and you are giving answers to, I'm mm -hmm. taking notes of them. Mm -hmm. Would we get to the level where um, there's a format I'm supposed to put them in to for onward? Um, yeah, you're going, to, just, you're going to translate them into user stories and acceptance criteria. Which we haven't gotten to. Thank you. No. All right. Okay. okay. Emir out. Questions, please. Yes. Yes. Um, yes. Yeah, you said um, you from for um, for the others you want to um, be, become an instructor. Then, yeah. if the person had not uh, registered, mm -hmm. uh, it should take you. It should take the person to the page where he needs to register. Yes, please. Okay. So, what if it takes the person there? Now, if the person registers, it should then it. At what point do you do a form needs to come up? When the person clicks on the become an instructor feature on the header. Okay, and if he has not registered, the form should just come up. Yeah, so 
so that become an instructor feature is going to be on the header and maybe an instructor comes on the website and they click on become an instructor but they are not signed in or, or they've not signed up the form i mean the, the that that we once they click on it on that feature it redirects them to the login or sign up page okay. for them to either sign up or login or even if you have an account and you have not you are not logged in at that moment when you clicked on the become an instructor feature on the header or menu on the header it okay. redirects you to that page where you are supposed to log in enter oh, your login yeah so if you are logged in and you click on become an instructor then what it does is it displays that form for you to enter your um degree and expertise oh 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 okay okay yeah. okay yeah i get it and now for the area of expertise mm -hmm. are we going to have a drop down to have no. Um, some no. no it's just pretext oh okay the person should yeah just the enter person should type yes oh okay okay now if um if if the person submits and then um, mm -hmm. it's a, it goes to the back end for yeah. for the admin to receive it mm -hmm. uh so how would they how would the admin get back to the person how would the person know that um his request has been approved that's a very very good question so the next time they log in they'll be able to see more features on their um side navigation panel so those features that I mentioned to you, students don't see them. Only instructors see them. Uh, okay. Yeah, the features for students is different. The features on the side navigation panel for students is different. And the features for instructors are also different. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm, okay. Now for the side navigation bar, uh, yeah. is it going to be plain or it's going to be like, uh, how would I call it? Is it going to be what? Sorry, excuse me. Is it going to be like, is it going to be like a plain, like a permanent thing for the side navigation? Because some sites uh, you click and then you will not, or maybe you, you hover your cursor around it and um, it will now display what you have at the navigation bar. Oh, okay. So um, when a user comes in, they are going to see icons representing it, but there's an there's a hamburger. Once they click on that hamburger, it expands, and then they can see what is what is the write-up in front of each of the icons. Okay. Yeah. So what you want us to do for the site navigation by announcement, payout dashboard, add course, add students. Uh, mm -hmm. what, what are the information do you want for each of them? That's, that's, that's the question I've been expecting since. Since, okay, yeah. So for the dashboard, what I want people to see is, I want them to be able to see an avatar that represents their profile. They are going to see their their the name, the username they use in registering. I want them to see activity. Um, I mean, under their profile, I want them to see setting, so they can they can do their settings for the okay, for so. the websites and edit their profile. It redirects them to their profile for editing, anyways. Then, aside that, on the dashboard page, I want them to see activities, notification, message, friend setting. Um, also, I want them to be able to see mentions, favorites, member activity, so they can type in. They can they can type in. Um, you know the way you go on Facebook and you and it tells you um what's on your mind. Yeah. So under that members activities, it's going to be a free text whereby they can type in whatever it is that they are doing and post the updates. 
and I want a cancel button. I want a post update button and I want a cancel button as well. As well as their avatar. They can upload their profile picture, but if they don't upload the profile picture, it should be an avatar. So that's for the that's for that's the dashboard. Why not the Rubio? So so I'm sorry, are we is dashboard now part of what we are creating for Emerald? Yeah, I'm talking to Emerald right now. Yeah. That's part of what you are creating. So I'm talking about what is on the dashboard page because I said that I want each of those um side navigation. Yeah, everything on the side navigation to be functional. So yeah, you said functional. My understanding of functional is when we click on it, it goes to an already created page, perhaps oh. that for dashboard announcement page, mm. uh, payout. Exactly. That's what I so, that, so you have to write the stories for each of these pages. That's what I mean. You have to write the stories for each of these pages. They are all different features. Now, when you click them, each of them should um should the page should their corresponding pages should should it override the page you have or it should open another page in the same tab. Mm, so when you click on, I still I mean the side navigation is on all the pages. So um if you click on any feature, you should still be able to see the side navigation panel. I want I want it to be displayed on a page, but the side navigation panel okay. is on all the pages okay. that is displaying on here. Yeah. So for announcement. Hey. Sorry. <laughs> I, I, that's why I said I should have been in Rubio. Ah, welcome. Ah. <laughs> it's good, it's good. It gives you more work and more exposure. So for create announcement, um, what I want on this page is um, a drop down. Uh, I mean, they, they should be able to choose a course where, for instance, the instructor should be able to choose a course where he or she wants to announce something to the student. So there should be a drop down feature on the choose course. And then there should be a free text for them to type the message for course students. So for instance, if I want to put an announcement for all the BAs, I should just be able to select business analyst and then type in the message I want to um I want all BAs to see and then create the announcement. There, there, there should be a button called create announcement. And then for the for the grade book. Ah, you put work is plenty. Sorry, man. Ah, can't can't we can't we switch? No, it's too late. <laughs> you are the chosen one. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go ahead. Yeah. So for the okay, let's just ignore the grade book for now. Um, for the art courses, yes, this is where there's plenty issue. This particular course is okay. So on the art courses page, what I want to see is that users should be able to enter their course title. Um, it should carry the avatar and the user name of the person creating the course. You should be able to choose a category. <laughs> there should be description, curriculum, FAQ announcement. So We'll do more of the art courses in future, in future, but I just want to see that page functional. So when users click on art courses, you should redirect them to this page where they are able to see all of these. So there should be another table. There should be a table whereby they can, um, this table we have file, edit, view, insert, um, for math table. So you know all those um you know all those websites whereby you want to when you want to add something to a particular table that you have all the okay I'll send a screenshot to you. 
so you know what I'm talking about. It makes mm -hmm. your life easier. Then also, I want to cost material. I mean, all of this will not be functional. It's just the design of this particular okay. page. Okay. For this page. So what I want is, I just want to, that when a user clicks on any mm -hmm. of this feature that I've told you tonight, they're able to see what is on that page. It doesn't necessarily need to be functional yet. If that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. So um then, yeah. then I want um a cost material. So what I'll do is I'll just send you a screenshot of the page so it gives you a perspective into what I'm talking about because I think it will make it easier for you guys. Okay. Hi, Bolu. Hello, Bolu. You still there? Hi. Oh, so sorry. Oh, I no, you're muted. muted. I'm so sorry. Please, where was the last? What was the last thing you heard? Uh, you're heard. saying post material. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I said I was going to send the screenshot of that page so that you can have an understanding of what I want on that page because saying it, you might not really get what I actually want. So only that page, I'm going to send the screenshots because it's kind of cumbersome. So the next feature is the accident feature. Yes. So on the accident page, what I want is users to be able to select a course. So um, it's going to, when a user clicks on select course, it's going to display all the courses on the, on the website. And then they should be able to manually enter the student's email. And then there should be a button that says add students. And once they are once they add student, that means they're able to add students to that particular course that they have selected. Mm -hmm. If that makes sense. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So those that those are the ones that I want to be functional for now. Okay, not necessarily all those ones inside needs to be functional. Mm, yeah, so just just um, having this page set up. So when a user clicks on any of this, we'll still work on all of these one mm -hmm. after the other. Do you get, um, I'll give you details of what I want on each of these pages, but this is what I want users to see when they click on these pages. So if I said, I don't want the site navigation to be functional. That means the site navigation is just there, just for viewing purpose. Mm -hmm. But I mm -hmm. want it to be clickable. And when a user clicks on it, this is what I want them to see, all those things that I mentioned tonight on each of those pages. So you guys are about 10 VAs and that's enough work for everyone to go around, I believe. Okay. Uh, yeah, you said users to users should be able to edit their profiles. Yeah. Both students and then the instructors. Yeah, so Ruby, we do the students, for students to like write that story for them to be able to edit their profile. Emerald, we write the story for instructors to be able to edit their profile. So what exactly would they have access to, to be editing? Is it everything? And yeah, they can edit their bio, they can change their password. Okay, yeah, okay. That makes sense. I get your question now. Okay, so what they are able to edit, they can upload their profile page, they can enter 
they can change you. They can enter their name and last name, their position. They can edit their bio. They can also put their social media pages so, on there. So, so, so should they be able to edit their name? Yes, they can. Uh, what if they have registered? And you know, once they are registered with their name, uh, where the name would have gone to, to the back end and everything, and coming to edit their name, that means it will need to go back again. To the back end? Yes. Hmm. Oh, yes, actually, they can change the username that they want to use. So it's flexible. Okay, you, okay. username and not the name. Mm. Yeah, they can edit their name. Oh, yeah. Okay, um, okay I get what you mean about it being. Yeah, but for now. Okay, all right, yeah. all right. They can also, okay, yeah, that, that's it. Um, They can actually change their password here yeah, on the profile. They can change their password okay. and then they can save the changes. Okay. All righty. And, and it's both for students and an instructor. Yes. So I think we will be doing for we will be doing that for instructor. Yes. Ruby will be doing that for for um students. Please, I have a question. So, okay. would they be able to change what they didn't register with? Because in the sign of you stated username, password. You didn't state uh, a social, uh, for them to put in their social media page. You didn't state yeah. for them to put in their their bio. I think so. Yeah, that's what they can do on their profile. They can do all of this on their profile. Okay. Yeah. That's okay. 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 I understand. Then uh, on the sign up page, I will create mm -hmm. two sign up because in the sign no. up page, you didn't you didn't state one of the features like having a drop down whereby a user chooses to be a student or an instructor. No. It, so the way the website works is once you sign up, you are assigned student profile automatically. So okay. So the become an instructor <clears throat> feature is what gives you access to become an instructor. Does that make sense? No. It doesn't. Yeah. So you don't need to worry your head about the instructor part. The leave Ruby to worry, I mean leave Emira to worry about that. All and right. Once is their cross, don't carry it for them. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Let them help us to carry it if they can't no 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 everybody will bear their father's name. <laughs> All right, any other question? Any any other question? Kingsley. I want to ask a question. Oh, okay. I was going to call your name because I see that you've been unmuted since. Yeah. A B sure. does not get on what a PO said. Can a B ask the PO to repeat his answer? <laughs> Hmm, that's a very interesting question. To be honest, um, it, it, it doesn't show you as an attentive listener. Yeah, you can, to, yes, but it doesn't. Right. Let, me, let me put it better. I am a very attentive listener, but I'm not a very fast writer. So you can see you are actually concluding it from a very singular point of view. I listen well, pay attention, but I'm not a very good writer. I'm not a very fast writer. So at the point of writing, and then I forget to remember, I didn't remember everything you said, I forget some. And I asked with Sonny, you directed me to others. And Thank you to the person who tried to explain. Even the person was even faster than you, trying to name, mention, list them. And I'm not a very fast writer. So what happens? Am I not qualified to be a BA? No, you are. 
you are. Um, so this is what I say. Like I said yesterday, I don't know if you were in class. I always ask if you can record. And then I mentioned something. I said, this class, this is recorded. You can always go back to it and listen to everything that I say. Because I always, me too, I record some sessions that I have because I can lose some things. So it's not because you are, I mean, because you're not a fast writer doesn't necessarily make you not a B. And this is not a classroom. And the reason I said that is because there are other BAs on your group, to be honest. So if you do not, that's the point of, I'm, I'm trying to also make you realize that this is a teamwork. If you missed out something, if you were the only BA here, I'm happy to repeat 10 times, 100 times, although I work, it might not be a good use of the PO's time. So find other ways. Apologies for if it sounded ash or if I sounded ash or I turned you off. I'm sorry about that. But I told that I was told that some PO's would be difficult. So I'm taking it. Yes, there are some PO's that might be actually very, very, very difficult. And um, you just have to, to find it. ways to um you have to find ways to get what you want, if that makes sense. So for instance, two things, this is recorded. You are not the only BA on this call. It, like for me, what I will have done is, oh, okay. I have other BAs, I can ask them. Or, and this call is recorded, so I can always watch it again. So there's nothing to be afraid of. What I do most times is that I record like if it's online, I just record on my phone and then listen again and again and again to get the exact requirements that I need from, from, or even though I still write when I'm in meetings, I also record because you can miss some things out when you are um, uh, writing. Apologies about that, but yeah, um, always find a way except I've exhausted every option and then you ask again and again and again. <laughs> but not every PO we have that patience or time to start repeating what they said. If that makes yeah, sense. So another so, person I want to ask um, about, um, you said we the information you have fished out is enough to go around. Um, amongst um, all of us in Emerald, so my question is, are we supposed to choose a particular feature of all the things you have mentioned or each emerald, each person, each BA, we need to do everything you have mentioned? That's a good question. So the most, the most efficient use of your time and the most efficient use of the business delivery is for you guys to share the features among each other. You can practice on writing everything, which is good because it helps you. Like repetition helps you in um, understanding what you're doing or having be grounded in that knowledge of, of whatever it is that, that you are doing. But good use of the business time because you're working with a short time of delivery you have just one week sprint is for you guys to share it among each other and write these stories if not you will not be able to deliver by the time you guys get to sprint one and you are doing sprint plan and okay. have enough features <laughs> All right, that's fine. I thought you were trying because I was thinking you already overloaded us. That's fine. Oh, I overloaded you. You guys are. I was crazy. thinking like one person would do all these things. That's what I was asking. <laughs> are we supposed to do all those? Like, wow. Yeah, but right normally questions. you are supposed to do it. But no, you, guys, this time. you guys are many. Yeah. On a normal day, we have maybe five years on a team. And they have to do all of this. They develop all yeah, of this. It's just the time we're talking about. So that's good. That leads to the next question. When are we delivering this project? This okay. particular um, sprint. 
yeah so you are going to sprint one so you are supposed to have started um i gave you the this tonight i gave you the requirement tonight um by tomorrow you should have started populating your backlog with stories um for in preparation for sprint one so as a ba you work ahead of sprint so you're in sprint zero everybody's in sprint zero but you you are already working for sprint one Okay, so what it means that what it means that we um in the BAs in Emirates, we need to have another meeting to choose yes. what to do, um, share these duties. Yes, yes, you do. Right. Thank you. You're welcome. Sorry, one more thing. Um Bulu, Kingsley yes. was actually asking uh, a very good question there. Now, let us look at it from this angle. Now, you were saying, okay, let's assume the way you were giving us um, the assignment and everything. This is not an okay, assignment, said, this is work. <laughs> your projects, okay, yes. Yeah. Okay, you were giving us the projects that we need to do and um, for, okay, for, uh, for the site navigation panel that you said, okay, it should have, um, you should have announcement, payout, dashboard, art course, art students. And in a situation where, uh, you know, he said he's a good listener, but he's not a fast writer. And in a situation where he missed the art course, you understand? Then once he has missed that, even if he asked questions about the other ones and he gets an answer, then if, he, I mean, if he's looking back at, um, if he goes back to the recording, he will, he will definitely he will hear you that you said hard course. But that moment, he did not ask any question about that hard course. So he will not get any information about the hard course. You, are, you, are, you, are, you get the point where I'm coming from. I'm listening to you. I'm waiting yes. for you to land. Yes, okay. it will, it, yes. So that's so. In that case, what do you think you should do? Mm, you can always reach out to the product owner again and I clarify. So you don't just. The thing is, your product owner meeting doesn't have to be that meeting only. You can always have clarifications. Sometimes you might not even remember to ask a certain question in that meeting. You can send a message on Teams and say, oh, I just quickly want to clarify this and this with you. That, that I mean, it's, it's, not, it's not a wrong thing to do. You can always reach out and say, oh, I, I, I saw this and this. Um, I just wanted to clarify it with you. Is this what you mean? And that's what I was talking about, sign off. So when you get requirement, play back to the stakeholder and say, Oh, this is what I got that you said. Is this what you really said? Is this what you really meant? Or send an email and say, oh, yeah, these are the list of requirements you gave me. So is this what you really meant throughout the requirement? Or is this all the requirements you gave? And the stakeholder will say, oh, you missed out this. And then you can you can say, oh, can I set up another meeting with you to clarify this? Oh, that's fine. It's okay. I'm available on this day, this day. Or they'll tell you, oh, just go to the calendar and put a time. Have I answered your question? Yes, it's okay. Yeah. There's always ways to navigate things. The thing is, when you do that, like if you keep asking the stakeholder to go back and go back, the stakeholder will see you as somebody that, I'm not saying do not ask questions, don't get me wrong. I, I mentioned two things. I said, you are not the only BA on the, on the call. That means teamwork. You need to work together. BAs don't work in silos. You work together as a team. You have to work together. If nobody got that requirement, I was happy to repeat, but I'm sure somebody got it. And luckily, somebody got it. You're not the only BA on the call. True, it is recorded. So. In a situation whereby you have only 30 seconds, I mean 30 minutes with a stakeholder, and throughout that meeting, you're saying, Can you come again? Can you come again? Can you come again? You will not get all the requirements you need 
from that stakeholder. You get, so I need to, I mean, I'm not, I'm going to be a mix of both a difficult so, stakeholder. Uh, do you guys still need some time? Uh, yeah, we are rounding off. You are rounding off, okay, all right, correct. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to be a mix of stakeholder, like I'm going to be a mix of a difficult stakeholder and an easy stakeholder. So you know what both feels like in the real world. In case you meet any of them, you've worked with, you've worked with them before. So yeah, that's how it's going to be. All right, any other question? Um, sorry, excuse me. I have a question. Um, earlier for Ruby, you said we've not gotten to the payment aspects that this is for spring on. So my question is, um, is it for every spring we have to meet with the product owner? Because for us to get details for the payment um, bar, we have to still meet with you and get more information for requirements. So, yes, yeah. I don't want to overload you with so much information. I can as well give you all the requirements. All right? the requirements now. Yes. Okay. Um, is it going to be like this most of the time in the real world? Mm. It can go either way. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right. You Thank can you have so clarification much. meetings with stakeholders. Okay. And to clarify certain things that come up while you okay. are developing a project. And maybe, okay. and sometimes they might give you uh, the entirety of the requirements. Yeah. Things can come up anytime within the um, life cycle of the project. And you have to clarify. Yeah. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, please, I have a question, just like a kind of confirmation. In the navigation bar, you only stated the profile, the profile session to be functional, right? Mm. For the, for Ruby, right? Yes. Yes, um, okay. Yes, 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 that's what I said, yes. Okay. Yes. yes. Then the other ones, do you need you um, are there any specific things you uh, you want us to put in it? Yeah, like for the dashboard the functional for this for this sprint. All right. Okay. Yeah. You just to <laughs> state them out, right? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Any other question? Okay, Bolu. Yes. Yes, my my. I, I, I was just reflecting on the, the training we had. Um, you took us yesterday with respect to requirement gathering process, where the first you talked about identifying the relevant stakeholders. Yes. You know, so at this point of uh, from the project uh, uh, from the product owner, is it at the, uh, should we be talking about other stakeholders, not just uh, man the, the the mandate from the, the from the pro, uh, product owner or pro, product um, sponsor at this way? At what point should we be involving other relevant identifying and involving other relevant stakeholder? Okay, good question. So, yeah. who do you think your stakeholders are for this project? Who do I think? Okay, uh, because I, I, I'm just getting a brief now. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, you know, I'm just eliciting the requirement just to understand the requirement from the the, spawn, the project owner. That will make me start uh, in, in execution, I think. I might begin to involve... Um, and that's why I, I, that's why I asked the question. At what point? Yeah, I'm not I, so I mean, sure. I'm I know asking, that the QA, the you, tester will. Yeah. Who do you think your stakeholders are based on yesterday's um, uh, meeting? Like, who do you think? Like, just is. Yes, no... I think um, the, the the QA. Okay. The, the developer will be will, will be very okay. important. The QA. Uh, who else? Um. Uh, Maybe uh, the, the, the scrum master. Can I help him out? Please help. Wait, just wait for him. Let him finish. Okay. okay. The QA, the scrum master. Who else? Um, 
Not sure at the moment. Oh, okay. Who wanted to help him out? Um, Israel. Um, okay. Yeah, so the product owner, which you are, you are one of the stakeholders. Mm -hmm. um, the product coordinator. Uh, coordinator or sponsor? Sponsor, sorry. Project sponsor, yeah. Project yeah, sponsor. Yeah, that's Deji. Then um, mm -hmm. the developers, okay. that is, which consists of um, the the data analyst and the rest, then the scrum master. Um, okay. I think, yeah. Thank All you. right. Yeah. So those are for this project, your your stakeholders are the product sponsor, the the project sponsor, the product owner, the scrum master, the testers, the BAs, the data analyst, because you guys are stakeholders as well in this project, because you are you are the one making this happen. You understand? So stakeholders are anyone that directly affects the project and also your end users the people that will finally use this product are also stakeholders does that make sense and you 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 have to know who the relevant stakeholders before you even start gathering requirements because it will help you know the right persons to speak with i've answered your question larry Yes, you have. Your video is on, just in case. Okay, you put it off. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, any other questions? So we can go yes, back. Yes, please. Please, okay. are we going to have an example of how to write the user story? The... No. Ooh. Yes, I'm joking. Yes, you will. Oh, okay. <laughs> you do it by yourself. <laughs> Okay. I don't understand, but you've not thought it. Yes, that's why you are here. You have to do it and investigate how to do it. I'm joking. I'm really joking. I'll, I'll be telling you how to do it. A wonderful joke. <laughs> I want to ask a question. All of you. Want... Yes. Um. So you kept on saying hamburger. So I want oh, to know: okay. is it the no one with the yet. cheese or what? Yes, that's the one. <laughs> <laughs> and lettuce. <laughs> That's the one. So um <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to use, I don't know if you've ever gone to a website whereby they have a side navigation panel and there's this arrow up with two straight lines. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. you can click on it to expand and you can to click on it. it. To yeah. It's called hamburger menu. Yeah, I know. Okay. okay. Thank you for asking that question because some people do not know and they not ask it, but yeah, <laughs> it's okay. All right. Any other questions? So we can go back to the main room. Any questions? Okay. Silence means no. Thank you very much. Apologize to those that I was add on tonight. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> but yeah, it's a learning curve. We'll learn together and we'll definitely adjust. I think tomorrow's tomorrow's lecture is how to write these stories, but there's a video on it on the website um, on Prep Major. Please do watch it. So tomorrow can be a very practical class, if that's okay. <laughs> Uh, so please, if, we, if we have any other question, can, how can we contact you? Um, drop your questions on the BAD. That's why the grid was created. All right. Always drop your questions on the BAD. And if it's PO related, of course, you can drop it there as well. I'm going to pick it up. I'm going to pick it up because both teams are on that grid. All the BAs are there. So. Question, yeah, I think I'm going to respond as, as soon as I see them and I and I'm able to. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Good night, everyone. Have a All right, thank you. Nice. Thank you. Good night. Yeah. Bye. Thank you, Baron. You're welcome.
Allow me, you can stop the recording. You can stop it. Allow me. Um, for those that see here, please, you can go back to the main room. Um, I think there's still a meeting. Um, Hi, Bolu. Should I stop recording? Yes, I've been calling you since. I'm sorry, darling. No worries.